Dude, did Wanderer construct a giant death pit? Yes. Yes, I did. That's really convenient. It means I pretty much don't have to worry about, um... It means I don't have to worry about monsters getting into my, my town, like, ever. They're, it, they get really distracted. Let's see. I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna have stairs, 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 stairs. I usually like to have my stairs double wide, but I think in this case I'm gonna have to keep it single. Uh, let's see. Other thing. We have all this grass seed. Where can I make worm food? Worm food requires grass seeds and night soil. Ah, that's why. Well, in that case, until we know how to get more no night soil. Uh, let's see. Eh. I'm just gonna go with this. Let's see, we can probably destroy these at this point. Because I'm not cooking so much for myself anymore. Then at some point I'll make some kind of crafting room. Probably once we actually know how to, how to craft things. Or, not craft things. Obviously I know how to craft things. That's looking much, much better. Might, maybe a bit wasteful, but like, I have a lot of these, and I know where to go get more en masse. Eh. Okay. I'm just gonna be... I'm just going to be egregious and make a very green town. At least the upper part. The lower part might have to wait. Because that, that'll take longer. I also want to get some purified water so we can fill in the, uh, the like, moat-ish area. Let's see. I guess it's not so much a moat, but like, I don't know, the the town green square? I don't know. It's a thing. Let's see, the ocean is purified water? Nope, can't pick up ocean water. It says yet, so there might be the possibility for it at a later date. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait for that. So this is looking this is looking nice. Okay. Pick that up. Uh you know what? I don't know what I'm gonna do with some of these dirt blocks. But I might as well ignore them for the time being. I'm just happy to have green. It'd actually be really nice if you could slowly convert the landscape around you into green as well, but... No dice yet. Okay. Actually put that right there. Okay, so that works. I guess I should probably put... Probably put that there. Okay, bath is good. Perfect. OMG, the bathroom's just like you drew it up. Thanks, fam. Now everyone can scrub off the dirt and grime they're covered in, and most importantly, start to smell a little less grody. I'm gonna, I'm going to have a bath, like every day from now on. 
Have you done trying peep on me? <laughs> no, but seriously, don't do that. It's way uncool. Don't even think about getting any shady ideas. Because if you do, I'll get Malroth to beat you to a pulp. <laughs> We've learned a new recipe. Okay, there's a cave at the bottom of the bog with purified water. It's below a cliff with a sign on it that hints about the cave. Okay, bath towel. Ooh, comfy cut of cloth for drying down after a delightful soak. Defense plus two. I've learned my first bit of equipment. Uh, if I can figure out how to where to make it. There it is. This is dumb. Let's see. Oh, the builder's workwear is actually better defense. Well, I don't like it though. Why? What is going on in here? Oh. They've actually been collecting some stuff. Ah, dude. Our farm grows more splendid by the day. I know uh, that I've become something of a father figure to you, and I'm proud to have you as a surrogate son. But you still have not seen your full potential, my boy. Not only could your building skills grow even greater, but so could ours. I suggest you speak with our residents and aid them in any way in, uh, aid them all in whatever way you can. They may be, uh, they may only have gratitude to offer you, but what, uh, but what could be better? But you can pour that appreciative energy into the builder spell, thus improving our powers, and summoning new allies to our aid. Now go, dude. Ask our fellow townspeople how you can help them fulfill their requests and ring the builder's bell once more. Ecking Hawkmen, dude, you did it. You rung the bell and increased everyone's building ability, even mine. Hmm. Mine too. From now on, you can leave all the wa tilling, the watering, and planting to us. Excuse me, Mr. Dude. I don't know if you recognize me, but I'm one of the farmers who came here when you rang that bell the first time around. I know we said we wouldn't be renouncing our views regarding the children of Hargon, but... But we've changed our minds. We don't care one bit for the children Hargon now. We're gonna be builders instead, like you. <laughs> Rummaging rascals. That's brilliant news. And it's all thanks to you, my boy. You're the one who brought building back to the island. Actually, dude, there's something I've been meaning to discuss with you. Our field farm grows by the day. All these people require guidance, leadership. What our village needs, my boy, is a mayor. And who would be better suited to fill that role than yours truly? Oh, you needn't say a word. The smile on your face speaks volumes. It's settled. I hereby award myself the official ti title of Mayor of Firth. No way. I'm not having it. But Malroth. The only thing you're fit to lead us in is who's got the most f feral facial hair. Besides, what kind of leader picks themselves? Where are your fanatical followers? Where are the zealots clamoring to give their lives in your name? Give it up, Beardy. You, but ah, he barges in out of nowhere, completely uninvited. And worst of all, he's all right. Uh, worst of all, he's completely right. But I shall not give up. You have done your part in improving our village, dude. Now I must do mine and earn my place as its rightful ruler. That's worrying, dude. Everything's coming along so well. The sugar cane's growing nicely, and everyone's improving as builders. And we're making great progress with Pastorel's requests. Look, something's happening to the deer tree. Wow, the deer tree just grew even bigger. Aha! Well done, everyone! The combined life force of all the plants we've grown has taken the deer tree to new heights. All your efforts have awakened a new power within the deer tree. The might of creation is more potent than I had anticipated. New power. Soon enough, it'll be back to the strength it had before the children of Hargon dis uh, destroyed it. 
Speaking of which, where did the original Dia tree come out come from in the first place? Did that just sprout out of the ground one day or what? You know, Malroth, I've been thinking this for a while, but you act all rough and tough, but you're actually a pretty deep thinker. The only thing I ever think about is where my next cabbage is coming from. We're not done yet, dude. We still need to grow two more different types of crops. When we've done that, the deity is back to full strength and we'll be safe from the ill wind. So let's get to it. Let's see. Wonder is this game any good? Yes. I. Uh, straight up, uh. Wow. Uh, we might actually want to put some more things in here. Let's see. I don't know if it matters, but I think I might just make a whole bunch of uh, eating and cooking locations. But yeah, uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2 is amazing. Oh, hi. Enemies have come to attack me. I think like five supper sets. They actually made it in? I have no idea. Hopefully Malroth and company can deal with it while I'm distracted. It looks like they're stuck out there, so I'm going to say everything's probably working as intended. Let's see, didn't I take a bigger fire pit from somewhere? I did! Whoops. Ow. Might want to put, like, a bridge on one side or something. We got no clothes. Hell yeah! This is just the builder showing off his stuff. And his his lack of fear. And the fact that, you know, most things don't straight up don't threaten him, period. Oh shoot. Yeah, the skeletons aren't very smart and take a direct path. These guys will go around, but they still get stuck. If only I could put somebody on guard duty down below. That'd work. Oh, he started breaking stuff down here. Oh, that's fine. Works for me. Realistically, I should probably destroy it a little bit further down. But you know what? That's okay. But yeah, uh, to put it in perspective, this is what would happen if you took Minecraft Gave it, like, a really substantive, I'm gonna say story mode, and I realized, yes, there's the Telltale Minecraft story mode. Uh, but that's still kind of something slightly different. Let's see. What do we have? Substantive story mode, some amount of town management, uh, a fairly charming story. It's a little punny, but you know what? I don't know. If... If you've never played a Dragon Quest game, they tend to be a little bit on the pun-heavy side of things. I like them. Oh, did I turn this into a dining room? Okay. So I don't want this to be a dining room. That's bad. Because it being a dining room, they're probably not going to cook in here. Ever. So we might have to go back to the original three. It's fine. We don't need more of this. We can actually move it outside or something. So we've discovered the uh, the recipe for large... Okay, so now we're in a large agricultural cafe. As was the original plan. The dining room is kitchen plus table. Uh, let me, let me check the Builderpedia. Nope, that's recipes, rooms. Kitchen diner. Cook ingredients placed in the chest. 
Dining room. Nope, rudimentary room for rumination that's lit at least a little. So four dining sets and a light source. So no, they will not actually cook in there. So did you ever go back to the giant windmill and pick up the scarecrows I left behind? Nah. Didn't really see the need. Sir, I mean, I can make scarecrows freely. Hello, dude. I must say, ever since you brought us to your farm, life's been just one surprise after another for me. Everyone's growing crops and indulging in their fruits of creation with a, with great big smiles on their faces. Does nobody respect the children of Hargon? Really now, Saffron? Are you still pretending to hate building? You're not fooling anybody. Oh, you're right, Lillian. It's true. Seeing everyone growing these crops is making me hungry. I want to make something to eat. Dude, I, uh... I've done good advice that if you put wheat on a bonfire, it turns into something rather delicious. Oh, please, dude, won't you make some bread for me? I'm ever so hungry. I, there's a little bit more involved in food making than just putting wheat... Ah, screw it. I wonder if I could just cook sugar. See, do we have any? Let me grab all this sugar cane while we're here. I don't know if I can cook it. I hope we get to make more complicated recipes that actually do something. Because, like, I don't know. I, I've always wanted to play an RPG where the food really makes a difference. Uh, easiest example I can think of is actually uh, Bloodstained. Uh, not Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. That's what it was. Goodness me, dude. Did you really bake a loaf of bread? The High Priest Hargon will surely strike you down for such a sin. Although, uh, could I... Honestly, Saffron, dude went, all that, went through all that trouble to cook you a meal, and this is how you thank him. I'm sorry about my sister, dude. She's very grateful that he made us this loaf of bread. And she'd be even more grateful for a little taste, may we? Yes. Thank you! Finally something to quell the thunder, thunderous rumbling in our stomachs. I'm sure you can make all kinds of delicious dishes from the vegetables you have growing here. If I were a builder, I'd try putting anything and everything on a bonfire. Who knows what wonderful new meals you might invent. Here, take these for the bread. But I'm afraid I cannot offer any more assistance than that. I cannot abandon my faith in the children of Hargon so easily. Oh, almighty, my, uh, oh, almighty Hargon, spare me your punishment, I pray. One day I shall see the builder's works reduced to rubble. You have my word. This is really amusing. Let's see, cooking and wow. Uh, you know, that's a good point. The only problem is it's like it's a temporary buff. Like a really temporary buff. I'd love I'd love an RPG where like the food you make is how you level up. Like you cook a bunch of like pork meals and that actually permanently gives you like a, a I don't know, a vitality bonus or something like that. And uh, we'll see. Anyway. Thank you again for baking that bread for me, dude. It was ever so delicious. Actually, I... Uh, you see... Really now, Saffron, what are you mumbling about this time? If there's something you want dude to make for you, stop wasting his time and say it. Yeah. Uh, what my sister is trying to tell you, dude, is that ever since you made us that bread, we've become rather enamored with the idea of doing some cooking ourselves. If we had a special room to do it in, just think of all the incredible meals we could make. Wouldn't that be just wonderful? Dude, if you were, were to be so kind, could you build this room with a chest, sacks of wheat, and three bonfires in it? Oh, and two stacks of firewood as well, please. And it's wonderful. It's just what I've always wanted, even though I've been eating there since before I even arrived. Dude, I... I... Honestly, now, Saffron, if you have something to say, just come out and say it. Dude, I want to use the kitchen you made. I want to cook. If you would be so kind as to put any ingredients you find in the chest... We shall make meals of them. But we're not builders like you. We can't invent new recipes. We can only copy the meals you've made. So I would urge you to experiment and come up with as many delicious dishes as you can. We'll put all our creations back in the chest in the kitchen. So if you're ever feeling peckish, have a look inside.
Hmm. I'm going to actually. Can I make? I don't want to keep designing things. Hey, I can make vertical logs. Let's make a handful of these. We probably don't need that many bridges. Because he wondered, do you think this will ever come to PC? It's Square Enix. They seem at least halfway committed uh, to the idea of bringing a lot of these games to to PC, which is promising. Maybe not this one, but I mean, like, whoops. Eh, that's fine. Let's see. It might not necessarily be Dragon Quest Builders, but like Octo Octopath Traveler came to PC. Uh, Dragon Quest XI came to PC. I'd say... Maybe a matter of time? Because this came to Switch, uh, which was definitely new. Comparatively. I wonder... I can I do wooden grating as a floor. This might be cool. Okay. Uh right. I should delete these. I'm going to put these away. That looks better. But yeah, I certainly hope so. I I would I don't know if I'd personally buy this game again if it came out on um on the Switch. Uh, let's see. Eh, I'm pressing every button wrong. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. I guess light's still gonna cut through it, but or light doesn't actually cut through it. It counts as a solid object, but still. With how well Stardew Valley did on PC, I can hope. Yeah, I mean personally, it would be it would be kind of insane if they never brought this this series to PC, because this is I mean this game is fantastic. It it is by far by and far my favorite sandbox game. Like I'm not a big fan of. Um, Uh, let's see. I, I'm not a big fan of, say, Stardew Valley. I, I found the uh, the overall style to be charming, but uh, not. Oh, how would I go with it? Let's see. Probably wanted to move this up a little bit. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But, anyway. Uh, this is in the way. I should have moved these buildings down. I could still. It'd be mildly inconvenient to do so, but it's currently slightly off. But yeah, Stardew Valley is not, not exactly my cup of tea. I don't hate it. My main problem with Stardew Valley is it just... Uh, the universe doesn't interest me. The world doesn't interest me. Uh, there's no story or anything apart from, like, kind of some stuff you interact with the characters. I, I like the idea of it. I like... I like the execution of... You know, all of these, uh... All of these, like, really charming people in the town and so on and so forth. My main issue is just, like... I don't know. I... I wasn't interested in anything other than just making boatloads of money, maybe completing some collections, and then probably calling it quits. I'm just gonna... Do we just make, like, a super barn? Because we could do a, uh, some kind of super barn. Because I actually don't know how many people even need to sleep in these areas. I don't know. I'm just going to destroy all this. Wish Stardew was more like Rune Factory 3 and 4. Well, on the plus side, I believe we're getting a uh, a remake of... 
I believe we're getting a, a remake of one of them. Or, not a remake, a, a remaster? Uh, on the Switch. Wait, hold on. Was that room viable without a floor? Oh, okay. That's an interesting question. In retrospect, I can just use the charge hits. What am I doing? This is much faster. Um, but yeah, personally, I, I'm really looking forward to Rune, uh, the Rune Factory Remaster because that game is much more my speed, just in general. I guess we're going to want to have these be up by one. Because, yeah, floorboards. These might end up being a little bit more cramped than half the buildings we've dealt with. Or not, actually. I, I don't really know how I want to do this one. I think I like the idea of a really big barn. Because they were saying don't make it huge. Well, I wonder if size even matters in terms of barns. Like, can you have multiple small barns and so on and so forth? Um, anyway, so did I like, uh, My Time at Portia? I did. Uh, I, I thought My Time at Portia was considerably more interesting. I think a lot of it does have to do with, yeah, My Time at Portia was a different world. I mean, admittedly, it was, like, slight, it was just post-apocalyptic Earth. Uh, but it was still, like, a nice, well, it was sort of post-apocalyptic Earth. But it was, like, a nice rendition of it, and it made exploring and interacting with the environment much more interesting to me. Um... I thought it isn't to say that there aren't charming elements in, um... In Stardew Valley. But still. Uh, but so games like this, I, I just, I get pulled in because, yeah, the whole Children of Hargon thing is actually kind of interesting and amusing. And it's kind of fun seeing how that all plays out. And it still has a lot of the same mechanics from stuff like Stardew Stardew Valley. You know, you're you're organizing a farm, you're you're putting together more or less resource chains, uh, dealing with like new recipes and so on and so forth. Uh, let's see, do we wanna Okay. Yeah, you know what? I think it would be best if I destroy the floor down in here. We're just going to put this kind of deep. It's going to be a bit of a deep farm, but that's okay. Uh, but like with, with Stardew Valley, for example, I wasn't constantly redoing my farm. I wasn't, I didn't really care about like the layout of the buildings or anything like that. As long as it worked. I know some people got like real obsessive and uh, particularly successful with like super farms that made like buttloads of money. But there's never any point to it. it it's like, uh, it, it followed clicker game logic where, yeah, you could keep scaling and you had like boatloads of money and you're like, man, look at how much like, how much cash I've got or like how, how many fish I've caught. But the problem is you never really had much of a use for any of it. It was, it was just, I am flagrantly wealthy and I guess I've made friends with the whole town. And I need something a little bit more like this, where each character kind of has a story arc, even if their story arc is much shallower than Stardew Valley. Uh, let's see. But you know, I'm not swimming in whole boatloads of props. I'm not like flagrantly wealthy. I have a lot of resources, but it just lets me kind of do what I want more. I, I don't know. It's hard to put into words, but this this is the kind of game that I'm much more interested in. Same thing with, uh, with Portion and the like. Let's see, I should probably tear that up. Uh, it's... 
fill all these in. Oh. Probably actually have two blocks at a time. There we go. Blocks. In use for money in Stardew, so you could get a divorce, you could marry somebody else and then repeat. That's just grim. See, if there had been, like, more kind of upper-end stuff to do in Stardew, or if, like, making money had been that much harder, I think I would have been much more interested in it. But, like, if you knew what you were doing, you could make, like, hundreds of thousands in the first year. And I think that was usually the point where I was just like, oh, wow, there is... Actually, way less to do in this game than I than I thought. And then I guess after that, it's just like, how much did you impress grandfather? Who gives you diamonds, which you can just grow. I don't know. Let's see. Is, isn't there a first person mode to help you place blocks in weird areas? Yeah, there is. Uh, hmm. I could use it. Not even sure how I want to like lay this building out. I like the idea of it not being a full standard design here. I guess I have yet to get to the point where it's uh, that necessary. First person mode is kind of claustrophobic, and I think a lot of it just has to do with the fact that uh, I'm playing this on keyboard on a controller. I really do not care for uh, first-person mode in a controller. Like, I can barely play shooters like this. Okay, good. I still have some grass seeds, so let's, let's put away these, because I'm not going to need them. We're going to want to go farm more grass seeds after this. But that's okay. That looks better. That looks real nice. Okay. So, put these away. We might honestly want to have both of these layers. Yeah, I'm, yeah. do I want to do that? I'm prob probably going to do that. We'll have some kind of interesting upper layer up here. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we want to grab... Yeah, I think I'm going to make two sets of barns up here. Of course, now i got to remember exactly what goes into a barn. Uh, let's see. Definitely farming tools. Definitely this. But yeah, if we have two, hopefully that'll double the amount of resources that we're outputting. It needs a chest. It needs logs. Uh, let's see. Builderpedia. Rooms. I'm just gonna look it up. You just finished Ashen after going back and watching your stuff on YouTube for it. It was an amazing game. Not sure about the ending. Uh, I liked it. I mean, it kind of just left room for more. But I also was not expecting much out of the plot for Ashen. That actually was a game that I really wish played like, um... Not played like this. Okay, so we also need... Chest, pot, and rope. Can you imagine if you could mush Ashen and uh, Dragon Quest Builders together? That would be a fun combination. I would gladly play that. Uh, let's see. Got plenty of floorboard. I guess I'll put away the bridges that... Let's put these away. Uh, let's see. Pots. So I need one more pot as well. Okay, so we have one small barn. So I need one more... One more pot. And one more... That would be incredible. Because my problem with Ashen is the... Uh, my problem with Ashen is the town management was meaningless. Like, it was cool that you saw your town growing and expanding and so on and so forth. But... You had no hand in it, apart from doing side quests for people that would show the town growing. And it looked lovely. Like, I loved seeing how the town would expand. Oh, I need another haystack. Uh, 
but there's no like weight to your actions apart from just progressing the individual storylines and stuff. Uh, but my my problem with Ashen was once you I'm just gonna make them mirror images of each other. Uh, once you finished with the uh, the quest line, there wasn't any like sandbox gameplay to do. You just beat the last boss and then you were done. If you could have a oh I I guess they're not gonna be perfect mirror images of each other. Okay, so now we've got two small barns going on here. That'll be kind of fun. Hopefully that means more resources for me. Uh, let's see. And do I want to just do... Actually... For these outer walkways, I think I'm going to use those, uh, those... They're not trellises, what, whatever they are. I'm gonna use, uh... I'm gonna use, uh, wooden gratings. I'm supposed to let water through. But I think it's actually much more successful... Oops. Like this. Uh... But yeah, uh... There wasn't anything to do apart from beat the boss and then you're done with the game. And it's almost kind of the reverse for Dragon Quest Builders. The actual, like, plot for the game is, it's good. I'm enjoying it a lot. But, like, the combat, for example, and even to a lesser degree, the adventuring and exploration doesn't feel very satisfying. Uh, you know, you might find a cave with some monsters in it and you get, a, like, a new recipe or an item or something like that. But, like... If you could somehow get uh, a really, hmm, I guess that's that's fine. If you could get a really like substantial combat system combined with like this level of town management and like light questing, I think you'd have like an absolute uh, banger for a game. It would probably be in, near impossible to make for another like couple of years. Well, no, any. Anybody, the Ashen people could make something like that, but they needed a bigger budget, and the Souls people could make it, but they'd never do it. And Square Enix could maybe do it, but it would take them, uh, almost two decades, and it would be a problem. So I'm kind of, I'm just currently satisfied with this, but someday, hopefully somebody does that. Exploration gets slightly better after the first island. My main problem is, yeah, actually, you're probably right about that, because the first island is very tutorial heavy. Uh, my main problem is still just that the combat is not fun in this game at all. Like, it's kind of fun to bash things down, but compared to, like, you know, a proper action RPG, it's real bare bones. Anyway. Hello, dude, and it seems you've been sinning at a remarkable late rate lately, since you show no signs of willing to wishing to repent. Sorry. I, I don't know. Can't read. Perhaps you might do me a favor. I'm sure my fellow residents would be glad... Of a tiny room with a pot and a towel rail in it, if you get my meaning. What's that? What? Why a tiny room? Would they not be more pleased with a larger one? It's a little difficult to relax and uh, do what must be done. One is sitting in a wide open space. I really think the room should be as small as possible. Just reiterate, tiny room with a pot and a towel rail. Build that for us, we'll be able to, well, you know. Oh, thank you, dude. I have no idea how long I've been waiting for a room like this. I'd say about negative three hours. I made... Wait, no, no, no. Actually, no, no, no. I made it recently. So, like, negative half an hour? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, thank you, dude. You have no idea... Okay, yeah, we are here. Heard that. I can't tell you how hard things have been trying to sneak out into the wilderness to... Uh, answer the call of nature in private, especially with this cabbage I've been eating. Just the other day, I hid behind a tree to unburden myself, but I... Just as I had, you, you know, with my britches... I saw that Rosie's eyes were fixed upon my... Ugh. Wow, Rosie. That's... Damn, girl. I beg your pardon, what exactly am I talking about, you ask? Mm. Are you really going to make me say it out loud? It's... It's what people make after they've had something to eat. Mm. Why not try it for yourself? Have a nice big meal with plenty of fiber, and then... After a while, you'll find... Your new room comes in very handy indeed. Oh, and by the... By the way, the pot will probably start to fill up after a while. 
Perhaps there's some way you can make use of that matter. <laughs> okay, so next quest is... Talk to the worm. Hello there, me handsome. Heard something interesting from Malroth, so I did. He tells me you two met a bodkin. Did him a favor. Says he worked out how to make worm food in the process and all. That's a blimpin' brilliant news. Why didn't you tell me sooner? If I didn't know better, I'd think he only had eyes for making fields. And he ain't... He, uh, he ain't given a single thought to them grassy meadows I love so much. But I ain't gonna give up that easy. I'll do my ma and, uh, do me ma and pa, and their ma's and pa's before I'm proud. I'm gonna turn the old island green. I'll need your help to do it, though, dude. Worm food's made from grass seeds and night soil, right? Do me a great big favor and make me one of them balls of worm food. Plonk them down somewhere away from your fields, and I'll turn the area around a lovely little lawn. If you're wondering where to get your hands on night soil, look no further than that pot in the tiny room you made. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. You can clean them with the towel you put in there. Oh god, that towel's disgusting. 